has wadded one up. And that, that was, he was Coming not even on his lap to yet. get the green. Money pretty early. She loose right there. You can see the wheels turn back to the right. And now, just as he turned it off in the corner, watch this lick here. This is a hard lick. Despite the safer barrier. That car gets out when the he gets to the turn. He was still in the throttle when that thing broke. Yeah, she just started around. I mean, it was way, way too loose. But you know, you heard in our interview with Joe Nemechek, is the in the 10. Now, they make contact. Watch the smoke fly. And that's why he got his left rear tire cut down right there, Bobby Jr. Now, back behind them, I'm not sure if drivers reacted to seeing the smoke or if the spotter said something, but that's what created this mess behind them. I'm not sure that the two are related, but they, they more than likely are. Now, we looked at multiple angles and cannot confirm whether there was contact between Scott Riggs in the white number 10 and the green 41 of Casey Mears. Because when we see the 41 here, he's already sideways, and uh, Riggs is obviously going past. We definitely know everything behind that was a chain reaction. Let's see what we got on this look. Turnaround for his team. Well, now he's about to be caught. Oh, trouble! Brian Victor's got in the back of one car, turned it sideways. Jeff Gordon's in it. Bill Elliott. Martin, the six. Bill Elliott was the car that Vickers got into. Kevin Harvick in the 29. And the rest of the field. To the left of your screen, there's Vickers, there's Elliott. Just a little bump oh. right there, like a bump draft, almost like what uh, Dale Jr. did to Michael earlier and what uh, Carl Edwards did to Dale Jarrett going down the back. Just a little bump, and away they go, wrecking everywhere. Now, Mark Martin hit the wall hard. I think he may have got some damage on the left front fender, possibly. Right there. Gordon hits the ball on the outside down here and then gets hit by another car right there. He has to have quite a bit of damage. Carl Edwards. Chicane. Wall. Very, very hard hit. He's in a backup car. Was a lick. Two, Daryl. Yeah, it just come up off there. You usually hit the outside wall. Now he just lost it. Coming off. Hits the uh, inside wall back there, and the thing just flies back out in the racetrack. It's almost like it uh, when he hit that inside wall. He tries to go to the outside and squeezes Wimmer into the wall. To his game plan, and now here he is getting ready to battle for the win at Daytona. Got a side by side battle for the lead. Whoa, whoa, Prime early on. Chad Chapman gets spun around and upside down. Chapman back onto his wheels. Let's okay, let's look. see what happened. Looks like bump drafting might be. Yeah, Dennis gave him a little shot. Wow, wow, completely over. Here goes Terry. Boy, Terry had a wild ride through the grass. Bam, Dennis right yeah. there. Give him a little shot in the back and uh, turn Todd's, or excuse me, turn Chad's truck around and over, by the way. Wow, what a view that was. And hit on the left front wheel, so I'm sure some suspension damage. You see, he looks like he hits him pretty square, but it looks like his bumper rides up underneath the back bumper of Chad Chaffin, and that may be why it turned him around. It might have picked the rear wheels off the ground, Michael. And then all four wheels were off the ground. And yeah, it did. definitely eventually He looks to the inside of Todd Bodine. Todd comes down the hill, forces him to the inside. The air gets underneath the truck, turns it over. One revolution, and then back on four wheels. Look, Todd just ping-ponging back and forth, Phil. Yeah, he bounces off of that Terry Cook truck into Rick Crawford. You can see the tire mark on the right side. You see the wheel still spinning on Rick Crawford's truck while it's up in the air. He hits the brakes there. He, he was finally smart enough to let off. That's pretty, that's, <laughs> that's using your head. He's flipping over at day. Look at the rear end hanging out of Michael Waltrip's car. He just tags the 30. Just tags him, just doesn't take a whole lot. Michael down here. Poor Michael, he has no place. He makes contact with Rusty right. Wallace and Mark Martin. That's what sent him over. Mark's the one that launched him.
again, there's been a lot of cars getting on the roof lately. Right behind Mike Wallace. Stay up, stay up. Easy, back it down as much as you can. Stay up, Wow, that, oh, not what you man. want to see out of your windshield. Oh, my gosh. Team. 48 car to the garage. And that will mean that Jimmy Johnson will have to trot out a backup car and start at the back of the 500 with a lot of these drivers here. Whoa, Rusty! Another wild backstretch ride at Daytona for Rusty Wallace. Right. But wow. That thing, the roof flaps came up, kept it on the ground. You saw the rear tires hopping up and down. But the rest of these guys were not so lucky. And those acres of pavement back there coming off turn two to the inside help keep it on the ground how many times in his career has rusty been in the air on the backstretch here the, the last time we had everybody oh i've got finish. trouble right there now my boss is problem. around right there along with matt kins is also and this will take some people out of the race no doubt mike and jeff uh, that was right at the same point in the pack scott riggs got turned up to the high side and look how many cars pile in I'm seeing 11 cars here on the backstretch. This is 11 cars. I don't think nice that we're shot. involved. Oh, Jimmy Johnson then up the into Mike Wallace. Got into the 40. The 48 got into Mike Wallace, and uh, that that's all it took. It was on from there. Riggs was just in the wrong place. He was. I, I thought that he and Junior had. That, I thought that contact between he and Junior may have had something, but what it really didn't, other than it pushed him up there where he could get in it. <laughs> Half the field has crashed in turn one at Talladega. We'll take a further look at it after this. Agendas on those pit stops. Denny Hamlin took two tires that time on Nemechek took four as Nemechek goes by Hamlin, or tries to. Oh, it's not gonna work, it's not gonna work. Here we go again, boys. And Casey up and over Mears. goes Casey Mears. What a day. I don't think I've ever seen uh, I don't know. I've been here coming here for 30 years. I've never seen a day like this. That was ugly. Hamlin got turned and see Joe up on the outside there in the 87 car. Look at the white lines. I see Joe move over. Yeah. He just was trying to I think he thought he had him cleared. Spotter may have even told him he was clear. Boy, that 38 car, Casey Mears, it took a ride right there. Stayed on, its, stayed on its lid, didn't start tumbling. That's one good thing. And the good thing, Daryl, I never off at, what, 160-some miles an hour. Uh, these cars are running 185, and the roof laps do their job to keep that car from getting way up in the air. Yeah, I mean, that all happened so fast, I don't think the roof laps ever even had a chance. No, 71, uh, Kevin LePage involved. We did not count him as being part of this. From David Stremme's car. He's going to squeeze up between Paul. Oh, oh there they go, right there. There he is. Jay Yaley. Yaley in the 18. No, it's the whole field. That'll be half the field right there. They're gone. At least. Daryl, I see right in the middle. Come on. There's not a car. He had 11 cars. You're all clear. If you can keep and what happened was the 38 tried to squeeze in between uh, 44 there of, of Labonte, and it got him up into uh, the 09 of Wallace, and that's when they took off. And to me, the luckiest man that we just have here is Kevin Harvick in the 21. He had just cleared this group moving back to the front. If you need it, clear high if you need it. They got the 11 hung up there by itself. Stay down. We're in it, boys. We're in it. Hold what you got, Kenny. Hold it up high. Hold it up high. Hold it up high. Right in the middle. Come on. All right, you're all clear. Number eight. Tony, and he let off the gas. I'm proud of him for that. Who's going to bank $75,000 here? Oh, got a car around. Several of them. Kevin Harvick. This is the big one, boys. We have it here every year. Got a whole Looks like about run. 10 cars involved. Casey Kane, Tony Stewart, Carl Edwards. Michael. Dale Earnhardt Jr. went through the grass and might have missed it. Kevin Harvick. Uh, we here we come. Somebody gets uh, loose back in here. 
Yikes. Joe Nemechek in the 01 car. Was it from contact from Stewart? Uh, I somebody got into the back of somebody. We've got to look at it again. Somebody poked somebody coming out of four right there and turned them. Well, either men him or. We go. That's, is that Tony behind him? Hard from that angle to tell which course, came first. And then Joe goes down and gets in the quarter panel, the right rear quarter panel of Kevin Harvick. Not of Joe's fault, though. There was right. nothing he could do, Matt. And we caught up with Kevin Harvick. Kevin, a lot of frustration boiling over. Yeah, I mean, you know, Joe Nemechek's supposed to be the guy that never does nothing. Hey, let me tell you something. Some let of the me tell members. you something. Joe talking by, and obviously I'm tired of I'm tired of Joe Nemechek, you know, acting like he doesn't do nothing. And uh, it may not have been his fault, but after Daytona and I should be fired and all that, he can take that and show it, show it where the sun doesn't shine, baby. as to whether Nemechek's car got loose and was hit by Stewart or whether there was contact that precipitated the spin. But the result, nine or so cars were pretty badly damaged. Pretty smart guys. They don't take their helmets off till they get through kind of growling at each other. Looks like the four truck gets a little sideways. He might have made a slight bit of contact with the 10, with the 10 of Terry Cook. We see Kelly said probably going to come along here with nowhere to go. You oh. see he made some hard contact down. Let's see if we can take another look at it. Watch the four truck. Kelly Sutton's going to come along and clip her. She was out of out of control a little bit coming in there. You could see that she was just trying to recorrect when right. she got into that four. Yeah, she was sideways. She had lost control coming in. You can see the radiator leaking there, but you're right. It flipped back up. I don't know if they're going to have enough of a run. He just doesn't look, look like Truex is fast enough to keep those guys. Oh, oh in trouble. Trouble. There's that caution I was talking about. Several cars involved. This is coming out of two down the back stretch, and they're still wrecking. Well, we got the into the joint with a hood stuck up in the air. Big one coming late. Listen, the 30, LaJoy, and the Dollar General got. They were all going wow. to the middle, yeah. it looked like. and Got hit by John Wood in the 47 yeah. car and just turned around. Justin Labonte in the 44. Jenny Hamill in the 20 car just pushing the 47 down the racetrack. Boy, Denny Hamlin had a rough start and a rough finish to this race. Coming back here. Regan. They get to the middle. That's John Wood in the yeah, 47. Two by John Wood. And wow. And all these guys behind just had nowhere to go. Ashton Lewis, the 25. He's not going to get through that, is he? And Bliss was in front of the wreck and still ended up yeah. in it. And you can't see anything at this point when you're behind that wreck with all the smoke. I believe Ashton Lewis got through that wreck somehow. He's the only driver. He's oh, there we go. Here's the problem. Kerry Earnhardt gets spun first. sideways. Problem stacking up behind him. Cars racing down pit road again. Chase Montgomery involved in this one. Regan Smith. Shiggy Hattori. Todd Cleaver. Problems Trouble. again. Here they are coming through turn number four. See, so Kerry's right on the bottom of the racetrack. He looks like he gets a little bit sideways right beside David Runham. That, there was, it didn't look like there was any contact. It looked like it just got loose on the inside. When you're on the inside of another truck, it robs that truck of air off the spoiler. It looks like another look. They're side by side, and it's just almost impossible when you're driving that close together and you're trying to do it three wide to keep the thing going straight. See, Tracy, uh, Matt Kraft in the 88 gets run into from behind, gets turned around. And watch these, there's Dennis Setzer, Chad Chaffin. They go down pit road at 180 miles an hour, just like Carl Edwards did last year, and he came back and won the race. They go through three and four. Here comes Jack Sprague up high, and here comes Johnny Benson. Benson's going to slide out of four. Sprague's going to slide out of four, and Kyle Busch is going to win this race. He blocked it, he blocked it, but... What kind oh. of finishes can we have here? Oh, oh. Bobby Labonte got hit hard by the 50 truck. And then the 75 came along, but what? Bush up on top. Here we see the race. Jack Sprague getting sideways. Johnny Benson getting sideways. Bobby Labonte involved in it. Todd Bodine comes through unscathed. Kyle Bush. Todd Bodine come across from first to second. Kyle hit the wall. He hit the wall trying to get by Jack Sprague. Jack moved up the racetrack. This is a situation where Jack Sprague's watching the mirror. He wants to go where Kyle wants to go. He wants to block him. Unfortunately, lost control of his truck, slid up into Kyle, pushed Kyle in the wall, but Kyle, as he said, never let off the throttle, drove it to the start-finish line to get the victory. That's why the finish is still unofficial. I'm seeing uh, Bobby Hamilton coming through here in seventh or eighth. 
Is this Bobby Hamilton sliding? Let's see if we can look over here in the grass. There goes Johnny. Johnny through the grass. There's uh, somewhere along in here, Bobby Hamilton comes through. There's a the start finish line right there. Here comes Joey Miller, Ricky Craven. There's David Starr, hard contact with the 47 of Bobby Labonte. I bet you Bobby Labonte was saying, would y'all quit it? Laid into him right there and just gets him loose. Mark has nowhere to go. Everybody starts checking up a little bit, and hello. Oh, boy, Bobby. Jeff Burton, the yes. 31, and Tony Stewart, the 20, just makes it through, as well as Bobby Labonte in the eight. Kenny Wallace has just looked at this. These cars are wrecking all in front of him and around him. He wow. did get some right side damage because he got in the outside wall, but <laughs> it could have been a whole lot worse. You know, the best I can tell, four of our top five in points were involved in that wreck. The only one that was not involved is Clint Boyer in the two car. The outside, great train in there. And she lost about 10 spots. Oh, we got trouble coming off of two already. Matt Kenseth is around a hard hit. Kenseth took a hard hit. Oh, oh we got somebody on the head. Donnie Nuremberg in 52 goes tumbling down the back stretch and then in the inside wall. Side when trouble breaks out here. If you're behind it, you're probably going to be in it. Johnny Sauter goes to the bottom of the racetrack, and that turned out to be exactly the wrong place to be. Look at Neuenberger just flipping over the back of... It did Johnny Sauter. You see Sauter down there on the low side. I mean, it's just got nowhere to go. You can't get away from a wreck on the backstretch. And we heard Sauter say on his radio, we are destroyed, and there's... He's right, they are hurt badly. Well, Rusty got through it. Get... Here we go. Harvick slides up in front of traffic. Cars upside down, cars everywhere. And turn four is Calamity Corner once again. Folded between turns three and four. Because something happened to Greg Biffle, the 16 car that triggered all this. I'm pleased. Watch it. See if it's Harvick's car. Oh, no, it's uh, the 22 car. Scott Wimmer. Look at him just spinning around. He got up on his nose and come back down on his wheels. Wimmer, the yellow car, take a wild ride here. What started at Greg Biffle came down in the 10, or the 10 went up to Greg Biffle. They got together anyhow. The luckiest man there was uh, Rusty Wallace. Got a little tap, but kept on going. Now watch Wimmer. Over once, twice, three on his nose, four, wham. Just pray that when you stop that you can remember what happened. I think Scott Wimmer will remember this one for a long time. reports to the team that they may have some slight cosmetic damage of the crash. Trouble in turn one. Oh, car on its roof. Michael Waldrop. Mark Martin is in it. One of the championship contenders. Elliot Sadler, the pulse in a 38. Heavy damage. That's Mark Martin's car right there. Uh, Mark Martin there. Oh, it looks like uh, Elliot Sadler got turned by, the by Jimmy Johnson. Yeah, it looks like he got hit by the 48 car getting down the corner. Michael went over twice.